What's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So it's been an amazing year for games. Things are getting real feisty. Things are real competitive. Things are getting real tight out here. I mean, we are in a year. This is one of the greatest years in gaming. One of them. There's been something for everybody. If you, if, if you didn't enjoy this year, I'm going to be real with you. You might not be a gamer. Because there was something for everybody to love. Several things for everybody to love. And, bro, it's so crazy this year that, first of all, Super Mario Brothers, um, the reviews for that just dropped. It's currently at like, an, at like a 93. And there's still more games to come. We're in October. There's still more games to come. You got Alan Wake. I figure that might land in the um, mid-80s most likely. Uh, there's still Super Mario RPG that might land in the high 80s, low 90s. Um, there's Persona, 5, Persona Tactics that'll probably be high 80s or something like that. It's been a crazy year and we're not done yet. I might be forgetting one thing and all the fire games that have came out before this. It's so good that there are games that if they dropped in any other year, they would be automatic game of the year nominees or even winners. In any other year, you're a winner. This year, you're a loser. You won't even get nominated. You're, you are, and nobody cares about runner-ups. Well, you know, be, being nominated is still great. It, help, it helps, you know, put some, put some light on the game. Let's not say it doesn't matter. But let's be real. Second place, you're just the first loser. No, you know, that winners write history. That's just what the, what the facts are. Winners write history. They, they, to the winner goes the spoils. Everybody else is just a runner up. It is what it is. And there's going to be a lot of amazing games that are runner ups this year. And something is going, something has to get snubbed. Something has to get snubbed. Now, some people make the argument, as they have been on Twitter, is it really a snub if other games are more deserving? You make a, you make a good point. But um, usually I'm with the smoke. Usually I'm, I'm, I'm with the smoke. You know, I, I go to war with fan bases. Today, I, I don't really feel like it, bro. I, I want peace today. So I'm not trying to have no jilted fan bases come at me and be mad at me and all this. Sh no, I'm, I'm, using, I'm using other people as a buffer. I'm just going to stand back with my popcorn and just present, you know, the arguments and shit like that. I don't feel like dealing with, dealing with no sensitive fan bases. But something is going to get snubbed because here was my, my game of the year nominee predictions prior to today. Prior to, you know, uh, Mario Brothers Wonder getting a 93, it was going to be Final Fantasy, Starfield, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Super Mario, uh, not Super Mario Wonder, because uh, that was prior, uh, Baldur's Gate 3, Spider-Man 2, and I had Sea of Thieves in there because I think they wanted to probably throw a, an indie in there, right? <clears throat> now, real quick, there's different things that go into Game of the Year nominations. There's there's several different factors, and this is chosen by a panel of different industry members. As we know, it's you know I like I know a lot of people, a lot of sensitive people like to just put it all on Jeff Keighley. Jeff Keighley doesn't actually pick the nominees, um, but there's commercial success as a factor. Uh, your your crit the how how the critics felt about your game. You know your overall uh, critical success. That that's a factor how the game is overall rated on Metacritic and, um, and how gamers and users felt about the game. And there's politics involved in it too, right? Me politics meaning, let's say that they, they want a representative. They, they want a representative from each publisher, what each of the big three necessarily, like PlayStation, Nintendo, Xbox. They want to include a game from each. They want to do that because they know that brings in viewers, you know, the, the whole fanboy shit and the competition. They want that. And them being, you know, the, plat the platform holders and the platform manufacturers, yes, they want to include one of the games that each publisher makes. So there's politics involved and there's, you know, other uh, you know, political factors in that too. It's not just necessarily who gets nominated is typically not always the best game. 
That's that's not, it's not as simple as that. Other things go into it. I I do think most years the best game does actually win. Most years. There's some exceptions. Um but those are there's a, those are some of the different factors that come into play with who's nominated and who's chosen as the winner. So what game is going to get snubbed? Right? Because look, okay, let me just name these games, and I have some wild card games, right? There's some games that I think are won't actually be nominated, but they're like wild cards, and any other year they might be nominated, or they're just like deserve possibly deserving of a nomination, right? So the easy ins, I think, are as I just named: Final Fantasy 16, Starfield, Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Super Mario Wonder. Now that we've seen the, the ratings. Super Mario RPG could be possible, but I'll put that in, in a wild card, right? Um, Baldur's Gate 3, uh, Spider-Man 2. I, I think those are the easy ends. Those are, those are the absolutes. Now, wild card games, I would put for wild cards, and I have Diablo 4 as a wild card. I think prior to uh, Spider-Man and... Um, and and Super Mario Wonder, Diablo 4 was an obvious nominee, but I'm not sure anymore. So the wild cards I have is Resident Evil 4, and I have Resident Evil 4 because it's it's a remake, and they do nominate remakes, but in this year, I don't think you can afford to nominate a remake, even though it's an amazing game and it's highly rated. I have it as a wild card. Uh Sea of Stars, I now have have as a wild card because even though they like to not they like to throw an indie game in there. Once again, this when you have in this type of year, I don't think you can have a uh, you know an indie an indie game. I have I have Lies of P in there as a wild card. I know it won't get nominated, but in my opinion, it's one of those games that's such of quality, it it deserves that type of attention. But I know it won't get nominated. Like I said, I have Diablo in there as a wild card now. Uh, Hi Fi Rush, I think that's a wild card. Street Fighter Six fighters and almost never get nominated. That doesn't happen. You know, some people are able to understand and accept that, Un unlike some fan bases, like when people were crying that Forza, wh whichever Forza game that was, doesn't get nom didn't get nominated that year when they felt like it did. When driving Sims or driving games, because it was a Forza Horizon game, they don't get nominated. You just have to kind of accept that. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. That's just the case. Um, so Street Fighter VI had that as a wild card. Won't get nominated, though, even though it's highly rated and people love it. Uh, Dead Space, another remake, another reason why I won't get nominated. Armored Core 6, I I think Armored Core 6 is highly overrated. Uh, so, but it, it's it's being a little bit overhyped by critics. So, wild card. Um, Pikmin, I don't think it has a chance, but it's highly rated, wild card. Uh, Shadow Gambit, it's an, you know, an RTS, uh, you know, those games typically don't really get nominated like that, even though they're they're great games. RTSs are kind of niche. Um, certain RTSs, let me not say RTSs in general. Uh, and if if Jedi Survivor didn't land, it didn't launch with all those bugs and 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 performance issues, I think it would be like up there on the wild card. I still I still think it would be, it would be a wild card, but it would be like higher on the tier of the wild card games. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised, right? Because there's six game of the year nominees, unless they change it and make it and choose to add an additional slot. And I don't think they should do that. I wouldn't be surprised for, because for the sake of politics, that they remove Final Fantasy 16 from the nomination to include Starfield. I would not be surprised about that because the optics would, first of all, the Xbox fans would burn down Twitter. I've been talking to Blandrew, you know, I've been, I've been seeing the tweets. God help us, all of us. It is, is going to be a, a wild, and the salt would be all over Twitter. The, the anger, the pitchforks, like, it would be an unsafe place to be. I would, I would be clutching my pearls and holding my purse very, very closely because these thugs and hooligans um, from the Xbox fan base would, would be ravaging through these streets if that game doesn't get nominated. 
it I would be terrified to go on Twitter. It would be very entertaining, but I would be terrified. I, I would be scared for my life. It, it wouldn't be safe in them Twitter streets. They would burn it to the ground if Starfield doesn't get nominated. Because you got to understand, X, the, the identity of Xbox for a very long time has been mediocre to inconsistent. And they finally got a game that is that a lot of them considered before it came out or still consider to be game of the year quality or not, you know, nomination worthy. I, I can't tell you what the last Xbox game to be nominated in like a reputable or meaningful game of the year, meaning like I'm sure it's been nominated by some back alley, no name award award show that none of us pay attention to. Maybe, you know, one of those Xbox games. I couldn't tell you the last Xbox game that has been nominated. I can tell you, but for game of the year, can tell you. Well, may, maybe it was. Uh, what, what's that? What's that platformer name? Um, I, I guess that platformer. But that did Xbox own them by that time? Maybe Psychonauts too. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure if Xbox owned them by the time that came out. They probably did, but still. You know, you know what I mean. Um, so they're going to look at this was this was our chance. And you're you're disrespecting our, our game. You're disrespecting our chance to win, you know, for Xbox to win a game of the year. Because Psychonauts 2, let's be real, it being nominated, it never stood a chance. So I, I just I think for the politics, you have to include Starfield and they're going to be afraid being that Xbox usually isn't in that category, I think they're kind of they're gonna kind of be afraid. Like, bro, you know, it, we gotta nominate it. And and I didn't play Starfield. I don't really have an opinion on it. I'm just saying that I feel like they're gonna have their their hand is gonna be forced to include Starfield and snub something else because of the politics factor of it. Um, so I could I could see Final Fantasy 16 not getting nominated. I think that's a likely possibility, right? Because then it would be Starfield, Tears of the Kingdom, Super Mario Wonder. Because I don't think you can ignore Super Mario Wonder now. Like if Super Mario Wonder came out and got like an 89 and 88, I think I think you could like yeah, you know it's it's a it's a good Mario game, but it's just another great 2d mario game we got plenty of those but sitting at a 93 94 i don't think you could i don't think you could ignore it so well, well fuck we gotta include that even though we have another uh game from nintendo tears of the kingdom which is an easy not easy in nomination so starfield tears of the kingdom super mario wonder Baldur's gate 3 and prior to super mario wonder coming out i thought the Easy. I, I, I would bet anything that Baldur's Gate 3 would win. I still think Baldur's Gate 3 is going to win, but it's, 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 not a, it's not the safest bet anymore. But I think Baldur's Gate 3 will, will win. Uh, okay, so Spider-Man 2. So how many games was that? Starfield, Tears of the Kingdom, Super Mario Wonder, Baldur's Gate 3, Spider-Man 2. What, what was my six? What, what am I missing? Because I removed Sea of Stars. Uh, Starfield, Tears of the Kingdom, Super Mario Wonder, Baldur's Gate 3, Spider-Man 2. If I remove Final Fantasy 16, then I guess I would have to move Diablo 4 up from the wild card back into the nominations. If that happens. If that happens, I think Diablo 4 is back in the nominations. Or they may, once again, want to include an indie and put either Sea of Stars or Hi-Fi Rush. Or, this is uh, going down the rabbit hole of what, what the possibilities are, or they snub Starfield and put Hi-Fi Rush in there. So it, it, so it could be Hi-Fi Rush, Tears of the Kingdom, Super Mario Wonder, Baldur's Gate 3, Spider-Man 2, 
and then you throw Final Fantasy 16 back in there. This this could be this could be very interesting. You know, it obviously hasn't been nothing has been announced yet as far as what the nominations are going to be. But it's it's going to be an interesting day on Twitter. Because no matter what, there's no way around it. Somebody, some fan base is going to be upset. Somebody is going to be pissed. There's no, there's like no way around it now. Because we absolutely have seven, because this usually doesn't happen in a year where you have like seven games where like you, you could make a great argument. These deserve to be nominated. It's usually like, Three that absolutely deserve to be nominated and is like, oh, we got to pick three others because there's six. So let's just throw these in there. That's usually the case. But seven. Hey, man, I don't envy their job. I don't envy their job. Um, Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Some there's a fan base that is going to be mad. Just to. Just to make it even more, I guess, interesting, let, let's let's name three that are absolutely safe. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, safe, has to be nominated. Super Mario Wonder, I think that's safe, has to be nominated. Baldur's Gate 3, safe, has to be nominated. Spider-Man 2, safe, has to be nominated. I think, like I said, I, I think Starfield or Final Fantasy 16 has to be on, on the chopping block. The, like, the, we have four absolutely safe games and two possibles. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. Let me, listen, man, let me, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think, dog, because uh, it's, it's about to get crazy. I don't know when they, you know, it's going down in December. I don't know when they actually announced the, uh, you know, the nominations when those are coming out. But I'll make a video about it then, too. It's going to be interesting. Let me know what y'all think. Who do y'all think will be nominated? And, you know, there's a difference between what you want to be nominated and who you think. Because, you know, my, my list of who I would want to be nominated is very different from who I think. <laughs> You know, ob objectively look, objectively looking at it. So let me know what y'all think. Write it down in the comment section. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Hit the like button. Um, and uh, I will catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.